Okay, we're going to mix uh, solutions of ammonium bromide and barium hydroxide. And that's going to produce barium bromide, BABR2, which is soluble, plus the ammonium is going to go with the hydroxide, which is a weak acid, I'm sorry, a weak base. And the way we write that is instead of writing it NH4 plus OH, instead of doing it that way, we're going to write it this way because it's a weak base. We're going to write it as it would be in greatest amount, ammonia plus water. Okay, so that is the total ionic equation. And so now let's write the, I'm sorry, that's the molecular equation. Let's write out the total ionic equation. Um, we need to balance the top first. And so we have two ammonium bromides. And that's going to give us two ammonias and two waters. So I've got two ammoniums. Okay, remember the difference between ammonium and ammonia. Two bromides. Okay, ammonium is an ion. Ammonia is a molecule. And then we're going to take barium, which is aqueous and positive two. And then two hydroxides. Okay, and then barium is aqueous with bromide. And we're going to keep the ammonia as NH3. That's aqueous plus water, which of course is liquid. Okay, so what can we get rid of? We can get rid of not ammonium because it changed. So those things that change, we're going to keep in the net ionic equation. But bromide, you can see, did not change. It gets crossed off on each side. And barium did not change. Okay, so what we have left for our net ionic equation is 2NH4 plus 2OH, okay, so there's our ammonium and our hydroxide, produce 2NH3 plus, there should be a 2 up on that, 2H2O. So that's our net ionic equation. Now let's talk a, a little bit about does the resulting solution conduct. And you notice that there's a weak base here. We need to write aqueous. There's a weak base. So yes, we know it conducts at least a little bit. But these ions, even though they're crossed off, they're still in solution. So yes, it, re it conducts strongly because we have these ions. We've got barium and bromide. We got a lot of them. And then we have a little bit of NH4 and a little bit of OH because this is a weak base. There's going to be some ammonium and some hydroxide. 